Okay, um, it's getting kind of hot in here. Like, unpleasantly so. And I'm going deeper and deeper. Not liking this. Is there anything in this rock? No. It's just there. Okay. That's a big hole. Got the TM for Earthquake, that's pretty good. So if I if if Digger hadn't learned it yet, I could have just taught it to him. Um, let me heal my guys real quick. Um, getting kind of a sense of foreboding though, which is not great. Drink your milk, guys. It'll make you grow big and strong. Um, give Sweetie her power points back, probably. Uh, probably should both, honestly. And then save again, because I can. Okay. Jeez. This is a stupid idea. Oh, hey, it's them. Ugh. Ah ha ha! How pathetic you appear now, the fool Archie. Err, har. Maxi, you. Ah, oh, this isn't good. Ha <laughs> just as I predicted. A little scamp. Even if I, I the great Max, you have found myself wishing for something I cannot justify. And the illogical desire that I harbored was to have you present here at this moment. Ha <laughs> ha And now that's... Now that fool's wish has come true. Fantastic. Nothing could please me more. I suppose I should make introductions. I present you my incomparable partner who will assist Team Magma in driving humanity towards its next level. The Super Agent Pokemon Groudon. Behold, this great form slumbering in defiance of even the broiling lava stream. Boiling, it's boiling, it's not broiling. That's not what broiling is. Eh, so long have I waited for this day. Immeasurably long. This foolish world has held back humanity's progress out of misguided idealism regarding the coexistence of humans and Pokemon. But this ancient creature can bring that to its rightful end, creating a new land upon which humanity may stride freely forward. Now that I have at last obtained the power of Primal Groudon, and now you are the final obstacle remaining between me and my goals, it behooves me to use every tool at my disposal to eliminate you. Indeed, even Mega Evolution. Do not delude yourself that you and your Pokémon are the only ones capable of it. I must apologize for making you wait through our encounter at Mount Chimney and Mount Pyre without treating you to this sight. Brace yourself for my ultimate attack. And Hero just kind of gets mildly perturbed. Alright. Bring it, man. I guarantee this isn't going to go the way you think. It, like snarls and everything. This is very cool. Okay. Quick feet. Interesting. Not intimidate. Which could be kind of bad, but I think we'll still be fine. I don't even know what Quick Feet does, honestly. One hit. KO. Okay, Digger leveled, which is very good. Monstro leveled, which is very good. They didn't come in handy at all down here. I mean, they did for their HM moves, I guess. A Weezing. Interesting. Does Weezing levitate? Could Digger beat a Weezing? Does Weezing levitate? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep battling in case Weezing levitates. I'm assuming it does, right? 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 Psychic? Beat two of your guys with one of mine. You suck. Water wing leveled. Okay. Sly wants to learn Leaf Storm, which is a move that is not very good for him. And, and then lowers his special attack after it's used. But I put Leaf Storm on my shift tree when I played through Ruby, so I'm going to do it here too. That's going to be his big special move for like anybody who's 
too physically strong for him to hurt them too bad. A Crobat. There's literally no reason for me to switch, but I... I don't want to sweep his entire team with just one of my Pokémon. This is the bad guy's, like, big stand, right? So let's see if Digger can do anything against this guy. I don't think he's going to be able to. But I've got Rock Slide. Now, shoot. Poor Digger. Ah, oh, man. Alright, let's go into... I still don't want to just sweep him with Sweetie, so I'm going to go into Water Wing, fight it with Water Wing. Um, let's stockpile a little bit. That's going to do a lot of damage again. Like, compared to how much damage other sources would do to a Pelipper. Um, Pelipper is still tanky as all crap. Okay. I'm going to need to... Uh, Roost at this point. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Um, surf, I guess. Freaking crap. This thing's fast and it's annoying. I don't like it. Yikes. Didn't even do half. Let's roost again, then. I don't think Water Wing can actually beat this thing. Jeez. It's very tough. Um, surf again, I guess? Jeez. He can't. This thing's beating me just out outright, unless I get a crit. And I didn't. Shoot. Doesn't matter, it's gonna knock me out here. Yeah, jeez, okay. Let's finish it with Hot Feather just because I can. Blaze Kick. Oh, it's faster than Hot Feather. Didn't knock him out though, thankfully. Jeez, still. That sucked a lot. Okay, I'm going to switch to Monstro. Maybe Monstro will be able to beat Camera up because it's so weak to water. It'd be a miracle if he does, though. Um, Surf? Oh, right. He Mega Evolves. Shoot. What a simultaneously cool and weird-looking... Mega Evolution. I did a lot. And then I dodged his attack. Did I just win? Did I just beat his ace with a level 30 Whalmer? Okay, so Digger didn't really accomplish anything in that battle, but good on Monstro. Holy shit. Monstro MVP, man. Didn't even take a single hit. Hot Feather leveled. I didn't even have to use Mega Evolution to defeat you. What do you have to say now? You've really done it, child. You've shown a power that exceeds that of the great Maxi. I've done that multiple times. I received 6880 pokies. Ha 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 Splendid. Just splendid, my young trainer. No, it's more than that. I should be calling you Young Hero. That is my name. I'm believing until the very end that a world where humanity and Pokemon coexist must be the best. Rejecting my ideals without a second thought. I'm rejecting the fact that you're trying to destroy the planet, even if that doesn't real even if you don't realize that that's what you're doing. You're an idiot. Uh, yes, watching you struggle desperately to halt the beginning of the world's end, you are undoubtedly a hero. So noble, and yet I will not yield. I will not bend. My ideals will not be shaken. My dream for the world's next step forward will never change. You're an idiot! I would use the red orb to awaken Groudon, revert it to its primal form, and put an end to all else. So he's not even... He's just hes just not even pretending that he's not trying to destroy the world at this point. 
Who's even talking? Wait, Maxi. Oh, it's Tabitha. Wait, Maxi. Yeah. Uh, but uh, Tabitha, uh, do stop that now, please, Maxi. You just don't understand. What Gradon will bring about upon awakening is an end of the world. Hmm. Did you think I had not noticed that I had somehow failed to realize that you were after my spot? Such a sad development, indeed, to be betrayed by my number two. You could you could not climb number two. That's kind of demeaning. So he said the thing about destroying the world because he seems to think that I think he'll destroy the world. And now his second in command comes in and tells him the same thing is going to happen. And he still doesn't believe it. He just thinks he's trying to be usurped. This this guy is a grade A top choice moron. In the end, there's only one being upon which I can depend. Now, Groudon, absorb all the power resting in this red orb and reclaim yourself. Revert to your primal form. I do like that in this, it's not just Groudon being awake that causes all the disturbances. Because that's stupid. No Pokemon's that powerful. They just, they just aren't. Like, the games demonstrate that in the way they battle. But, like, turning him into his primal form? And, like feeding him energy continuously from the orb allow, allowing that energy to fly out of control through Groudon, that makes more sense right? That, that makes more sense as to how he would have the power to affect the entire planet. This is the time to take back the great evolution uh, you lost in the ancient past. Reclaim the possibility you once held. Okay. Are you I'm doing a pirate thing for Archie now in case you hadn't noticed. Now, this doesn't look good. Okay. Now, this is already bad. That's already a legendary stinking Pokemon. Uh, what's it doing? Look at Maxi looking like he's won, like he's triumphed, like this is a success. Screw this guy, he's so stupid. He just yeets to the surface. Oh, great, great. That's great. I also like how Groudon's head kind of looks like um, Maxi's glasses. I think that's a nice touch. Okay, so he's heading towards that town. And, and he's just straight up got lava coming out of his ass. So I'm thinking that's probably a bad thing. Yeah, <laughs> at last. At last, I've finally done it. A new world for human evolution will be born. We shall stride forward. Oh, what have you done, boss? What? Okay. Hmm, message from our members outside. What is it? So the sun has turned mercilessly fierce in its heat. I should expect so. That is what I have long... Uh, no, what we have long wished for. Uh, what? The heat is greater than our simulations predicted? It will be a risk to our own safety if it continues? That cannot be. Uh, everyone who was telling me that this was stupid was right? And I was wrong? Oh my god, Maxie's a boomer. That makes so much sense. It is only just awoken. Where is it getting so much power from? And how much more will it gain when it does undergo primal reversion? Continue your readings, then report back. Boss? Maxi? Just what's happening on the surface? All that matters is that I've used the red orb to awaken Groudon. And now, I will transform this planet to a land ideal for humanity. People need water, you moron! Hey, Maxi. Uh, looks like we underestimated the power of the super ancient Pokemon. The power of primal reversion. What did you say? Primal Groudon brings about an end, all right. But you don't get to choose what end. It's gonna drive every living thing off the planet to its death. On the planet to its. Dear God. To its death, arr. 
The only thing waiting for us is despair. A despair we can't even run from. A despair that's gonna crush humanity. You blasted fool. And that's a good way of putting it. And it's all happening because uh, you were cocky enough to think you could control the super ancient Pokemon's power. Just catch it in a Pokeball. It's not hard. Uh, so that information we received from the weather Institute was true. Boss Maxi, we'll never get anywhere just standing around here like this. There isn't a moment to spare. We must confirm the situation on the outside. Child, you're coming too. Hurry up. Yeah, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Fuck me. Love the music here, by the way. It's fantastic. This is fantastic, too. This music. What a great scene this is. This. This is not. What? Ellipses, ellipses, ellipses. I. I wanted to make. It was supposed to be a world where the human race would attain new heights. The next stage of our development. It was all for humanity's future. So he really did drink the Kool-Aid hard, didn't he? Boss Maxi. So this is the power of the super ancient Pokemon. This is how Groudon brings everything to an end. All of us, people and Pokemon, every living thing on this planet, everything's gonna die. Okay, little scamp. We're setting sail for Sutopolis. That blasted Groudon is no doubt gonna get there ahead of us. It'll be waiting for us deep in the Cave of Origins there in Sutopolis. There's a pool of energy there that folks say is needed for primal reversion. There's no doubt in my mind that Groudon will be racing for that cave, thirsting for that power. We got no choice but to go ourselves. We gotta do whatever we can to fight back. Alright, sure. I'll help you out, or else it's more likely you'll be helping me out. Alright, Maxi. Your team magma blighters better come with us. We're responsible... <clears throat> We're responsible for this mess, this ridiculous, impossible mess. It only makes sense for us all to step up and clean up after ourselves. Agreed? Yeah. Let's go, Boss Maxi. <sighs> mm. Hey, you little scamp. Look, I'm, sub I'm supposed to be a grown-up, right? So let me say sorry for the way this has gone down. And I'm sorry, because I've got to ask you to pitch in with the cleanup. We need every hand on deck if we're going to do something about this mess. So I'll be waiting for you in Stopless. Yeah. Never really doubted that I have to fix this. <sighs> oh, hey. You finally got here. Jeez. Took you long enough. Was that just a Pokemon he roped to get himself here? Or was that like his Skarmory and it just flew off? Hero. I'm sorry I could not get here sooner. Terrible. So this is what being deprived... This is what was being depicted in the painting in Gravi Granite Cave. I almost forgot about that. If this doesn't stop all Hoenn, no, the entire world will burn up. Nothing can live in such a land of death, neither Pokemon nor humans. This dreadful blaze it must be caused by the sweltering heat wave forming above Cetopolis. Come on, Steven, think. What are we going to do? Mm, no. There's no point in agonizing over the situation from here. I have to get to Stopless. There must be answers there. Hero, I will count on you to help with this crisis. Yeah, everybody keeps saying that. <sighs> You're lucky I'm okay with this. Or else I'd just walk away and leave you all to burn. But please, promise you won't do anything reckless. I... Not gonna do that. I have the feeling I'm gonna have to do at least one reckless thing to fix this. Well then, I'll go ahead to Stopless. Good luck to you. Oh yeah, don't take me with you. It's not like the world's ending or anything. <sighs> Alright, so I guess that is supposed to be his Skarmory. Which, his, his ace is Metagross, right? But like... Or I guess Metang. Maybe, it, maybe it's evolved to Metagross since then, or maybe that was a different Metang that he was using when we teamed up. I don't even remember which direction Cetopolis is from here. South, I guess, because there's a frickin' wall here. Um. Oh. Okay, I'm sure. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, Metagross is like his ace, right? 
Like, it's his pseudo-legendary. It's his most dangerous Pokemon. Everybody knows it. God damn it. <sighs> Fine. Oh, yeah, it's, um... It's drought right now because <laughs> the world's ending. You know, I didn't actually pick to play this game specifically because it is about the apocalypse and we're maybe in the apocalypse right now, I promise. Um, anyway, as I was saying, the, his most dangerous Pokemon, everybody knows it, it's Metagross. Okay, this is progress over this way. Um, and yet he says that his favorite move is Steel Wing when he gives you the TM for it. <sighs> oh, it's a different Pokemon. Hey, that's cool, at least. I still don't care, because it's super weak. Um, please, please just get knocked out and leave me alone. Um, so it makes me think that even though Metagross has become his ace just because it's the strongest Pokemon he has, Skarmory's got to be his favorite, right? Because it's the one that uses his favorite move and everything. And I was just thinking, I was thinking about that earlier in the game when he first gave us... Um, where are, we, where are we going from here? I don't even know. I should I should probably be, like, checking the map or something. Um, uh, what's up here? Is this just, like, a little ancillary path? Or no, this is, this is the right way. Okay. I think. Is this right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, point is, back when he gave us Steel Wing, I thought Skarmory was probably his favorite Pokemon then. I just don't think I remember to say it. Hello. Only those who have been recognized as being worthy can go beyond... Okay, no, this is a different spot. Alright, fine. I remember this now, actually. Okay. Um, go back through here. Ah, god dang it. Uh, the sea is teeming with Pokemon. It's not easy swimming, I tell you. Yeah, I know. I noticed. <sighs> Whalmer. My Whalmer beat a much more powerful Pokemon. Um, your Whalmer looks like it's probably stronger, though. Oblivious, interesting. Alright, Magical Leaf, come on. Boom. Really need to get to the next town. I, I don't like water roots anyway, they stress me out. And, um, like I do, but I don't, you know what I mean? I, I, I like... I like the whole game, right? But at the same time, I don't like Water Roots. You know what I mean? Um, they stress me out a little bit anyway. And I, I'm lost. I'm completely lost. I have no idea where I am in relation to literally anything else. So I'm freaking out a little bit. Alright, can I go this way? What's up here? Is this the right... No, this is, this is completely the wrong direction. Great. Great. That's new-ish. Kind of. Um. Please go away. Alright, neat. Alright, it's gotta be further this way, right? Ah, oh, freaking Christ. Ah, freaking battles. It is nice to see a brother and sister hanging out together, though. Monstro's second? That's not great. I should still have this, though, I think. Because Monstro's got a lot of health, so he should be able to hang on while Sweetie mops up. I could dive with him, I guess. Try to avoid damage. And that did not knock it out. What just happened? What? What? I can't use water type moves right now? What? That's dumb. Okay. Rest, I guess, because that's all I can freaking do. Was that a, is that a mechanic that I just straight up forgot about? Why am I surprised that there's a mechanic that I just straight up forgot about? Rest back to full health, though 
if that thing gets even a slightly higher attack roll than it did last time, it's just gonna straight up knock him out anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Okay, it tried to use a water move too. I guess seeing my water move fail immediately wasn't indication enough for that not to use a water move? Sure. Doesn't matter. Do it, it doesn't even matter. Okay. That's mildly annoying, I guess. Why does that not get evaporated instantly? Arbitrary stinking rules. Finish it, please. Boom. <sighs> Monstro leveled, though. That's pretty good. Yeah. I did my best uh, with my big sister, but we couldn't win. And we couldn't even win when combining our power as siblings. Is, is sibling power something that makes you stronger? Weirdo. Wait, this isn't right. Hold on a second. Oh, right. You have to go underwater to get to topless. God damn it. Oh, this sucks a lot. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it all. Keep the map up so I can keep track of where the heck I am. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, I'm so dick. I'm so tired of battling people. Ugh. Die. Ugh. Leveled again. That's good, I guess. Alright, where's the dive spot? Ah, oh, frickin' Christ. Ugh. Okay, as I was saying, where's the dive spot? There's gotta be one around here, right? There's gotta be one around here, right? Is this it? Just dive. Just do it. Let's go. Is this the right spot? Looks like it. Looks like it could be, at least. Based on the map. Okay. Is this right? I don't even know. This doesn't feel right. No, this doesn't feel right. This is just a place with secret bases on it. I'm so lost. I'm gonna have to go look up a freaking map. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, let's check out these bases while we're here, because I'm unlikely to ever come back here after this. And I'm probably actually gonna sign off the recording session for a little while. All things considered. Um God damn it, where's secret power? There it is. Right right under the thing I was hovering over. Um, probably gonna sign off the recording session for a little while and and go check and make sure I know how to get where I'm going to before I continue and keep wasting y'all's time. Alright, here's the first one. Let's check this out. I do remember there being some pretty cool ones here. Oh yeah, this one's got like a whole like, like a whole other interior section. I'm going to say no for right now, though. I want to get a look at each of these. Eh, this one's just one big room. That's boring. It's got a lot of wall space for posters, though, I guess. There's a lot of them here. This is a really nice spot. If you guys don't know about this spot, and you like making secret bases like I do, this is a good place to keep a lookout for. I do wish there was more variety here, though, because it looks like it's all just rocky bases. I wish there were, like, some tree bases and stuff here, too, you know? This one's kind of in the outer wall. That's kind of neat. This one almost looks looks like a little apartment. It's got, like, a little layout and everything. I like that one. That's actually probably going to be the one I go with unless the next couple just really blow me away or something. That one's got an upper floor. Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with that one most likely now. That one's very nice. And, of course, every single one of these secret base spots is bigger on the inside. Yeah, I like the other one better. That one looks like it might actually be a tiny bit bigger, but I like this one a lot. Okay, yes. 
Boom. Yes, I would like to abandon my base. Okay. Let's get our base set up real quick while I have a second. Put the bed just right here. You can't ro We checked and you can't rotate them, right? Okay. Right, you can't rotate them. Okay. So let's actually do this then. Let's put this here. Come on. Put that there. Then do the red poster and the blue poster there. Now I'm, I'm still decorating. Um, there you go. Just put this one here. Yeah, that, that works. I like that. Because the Pokeball poster is kind of bland compared to the other ones anyway, right? To get it out of the way and put the TV over here then. I'll make kind of a TV sitting room here. Um, which means maybe put the desk here so it's in view of the TV. Um, do I like it further away or closer? I think I like it further away. And I can come over here. Put down a big ass green mat. Which I also want to put a green mat down here. There we go. It's going to be like my area rugs, you know. And then do some cushions. Like there and... And like there, so people can sit and watch the TV. Yeah, I think that works. Then come over here and put... Where is this thing? Put this thing here. And then I need to put... Stairs. I need to put stairs here so I can get up in the first place. Then I had other stuff. I had like the slide and the, the stand. How big are those? Those are really big. So, no. Not even going to worry about that. I, I kind of just... There's got to be a really big base then, right? Um, I kind of just bought those though because I thought it would be fun. Put that there next to the desk. I want to put the dolls around. What other objects do I have? Proclamation, solid board. Yeah. That mat too, I need to keep that in mind. Okay. And that's that's everything. I really need to look up where you can just buy all the stuff for the secret bases so I can get all of it. Alright, let's start putting dolls. Let's put a Oh, I can't put any more decorations? There's a limit? I didn't even know there was a limit. Well, shoot. Alright, well then let's move... No, that's the wrong button. Let's move this. I don't actually need that. I just bought that to have it. And let's move this. So I don't really need that either. Um, let's see. Dolls. Venusaur doll. How big is he? Can I, like, fit him over here by the TV or something? No. Alright, let's put him down here in the entryway then. I guess. That's kind of cool, right? Just leave him there so he's greeting people when they come in. And then... Um... Put the Totodile doll. Can I put it on the bed? No. That's boring. Just kind of set him on the desk. I'm assuming I can't put anything else, right? That's a shame. Uh, Alright, that's fine. I like this. This came together pretty well, I think. I might take some of the posters down eventually so I can fit more stuff. But I like that. I like that. I think it turned out well. Okay, cool. Got my little loft. And then down here is like the... the Entryway and greeting room. Take a nap real quick. That was fun. I enjoyed that. And I, I do like the way this is set up, even if I do kind of wish I could put more stuff. Can I turn this on? Does this do stuff? It does. Okay. It, it just kind of lights up. It doesn't actually do anything. You don't actually sit down on the mats either. I, w I wish you did. They're probably for, like, placing dolls, honestly. They're probably not for sitting, but still. 
Okay, so that was a ton of fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Um, as I said, though, I am going to call the recording session here. Save the game first. Um, I don't think I've actually been doing my sign-off this session when I was supposed to be, so that's kind of dumb of me. But anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the Let's Play, because I certainly have been. We're at the climax of the game's story, which is nice. And we probably would have done the climax of the game's story today if I weren't so freaking lost. Either way, though, this has been HH22, and I'll talk to you guys later.